the video says 10 interesting facts about Oman but the facts which he has stated is more than 10 I was not expecting that I get so much information about the Oman <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We learn together. Uh, today I bring you another history video. This video is related to interesting facts about the country Oman. You might have heard the name of country Oman, but you didn't know about the facts. Today I'm going to react to a 10 incredible facts about Oman. I didn't have any information of Oman. I have no information about Oman or Oman history uh, so we are starting with the, uh, and the facts of Oman and learn something new about the country uh, this video the original upload is made by FTD facts I would request you to go to the channel like it and subscribe them if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and share your feedback in the comment section below let's go The world as we know is vast and yet still much undiscovered. It has so many different beings, cultures, and feelings with different perspectives of life. And today here on FTD Facts, we look at a country that has its own unique perspectives, its unique culture, while still being part of the major Arab world and community. Today, we dive into a country filled with a hardworking people with a history that has helped it grow to become the powerful nation it is known as today. Today, we introduce you to the amazing people, culture, and country of Oman. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave Walpa here, and welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we look and explore different cultures, communities, and countries from around the world. Now, today, as you can see from the title and from the opening introduction, we are going to be talking about the great country known as Oman, which might be a little different from your country and my country, but we should understand what it's all about. And also throughout this video, if you guys are liking it and you want us to talk about Oman more in the future, just hit those like buttons because if we get over 5,000 likes, then we generally keep an eye on our videos to do a part two on them. But let's get started. Let's look at the great country of Oman. Now, first of all, we always like to look at population because as of 2010, which its last census was recorded, it had approximately 2.7 million people. But since 2016, first of all, the growth rate really has changed since then. And because of that, the 2016 estimate has the population at approximately 4,424,762 people, making this country rank actually 125th in the world when it comes to population by the country. Now, some people around the world may have a hard time recognizing or identifying where Oman is on a map, but truth be told, it shouldn't be that hard because it's actually a really large country. As a matter of fact, it sits at 70th in the world, and when it comes to its land size, that equates it to approximately 309,500 kilometers square. And as for its water percentage, which we usually talk about with countries, unfortunately, it's negligible because there's not a lot of water within the country. Now with that, if we were to combine the population with the land size, it has a density of approximately 15 people per square kilometer. And this makes its density rank at 214th in the world. Now, you may think that's not a lot, but it's still a growing nation. As a matter of fact, its population has really shot up in the last couple of years. So that'll probably change in the future years as well. Now, one thing that really shook me was the type of government that actually is within Oman. And it's actually listed as a parliament sort of government, which I was like, what? Its official title is a unitary parliament with absolute monarchy, basically meaning that it does have a king. But in the Arab world, they call that a sultan. And courtesy of one of our fans, Muha Singh Ranger, the Sultan of Oman is Qaboos bin Saeed Al Saeed, who is actually, from what I heard, is an unmarried ruler. And as for this particular Sultan, he's got a rather interesting history. This is because Qaboos bin Saeed Al Saeed actually overthrew his father, Saeed bin Taimur, in a coup in 1970. 
And as of the recording of this video, he's been in power for over 48 years, making him one of the longest rulers currently. But of course, you can't beat Queen Elizabeth II. She's got like a lot of years on him. I didn't have this information. The king is the oldest ruler of the region of the country after the queen, Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth II. I'm sorry. But however, that also makes Qaboos bin Said Al Said the longest current ruler in the Middle East. Now, when you think of Oman, you may wonder to yourself, well, how is the land actually divided up? Does it have, you know, provinces? Does it have states like the United States? What do they have that governs regions? Well, believe it or not, Oman actually does have provinces, but they don't work the same like they do in countries like, say, Canada. We're basically like in my country of Canada, you have the country and then you have provinces and territories. And then right after that, you have counties, cities, towns, and stuff like that. And for Oman, it's divided into 11 governments. Governorates. And within all the combined governorates, there's approximately 61 provinces, also known as Wilayats. And as for the largest governorate in Oman, it is Dafur, having a land size of 99,300 square kilometers. And as for the largest population when it comes to these governorates, well, it's actually kind of hard to say because there's not really been a actual, from what I hear, an official report of all the governorates. But however, from the ones that have been, the Muscat governorate has approximately 1.5 million people. But this is because this particular governorate actually is home to Muscat, which is the largest city in the entire country and the only city that is classified as a metro in the entire country as well. Muscat is also designated the capital city for Oman with a population of 1.2 million people as it stretches across a land size of 3,500 square kilometers, which includes six provinces or cities, aka Wilayats. It should also be noted that Muscat is one of the oldest major port cities in the entire world and has been established as a major port and trading ground since at least the first century BCE. And what I find fascinating is it doesn't just stop there because it even dates way further back to even the sixth century BCE. And this is all due to the discovery and findings of fishermen burials within the region. Now, one thing that I find very fascinating about when we look at different countries from around the world is that we learn that there are different rules, there are different regulations, there are different cultural traditions that other countries might not agree with that, you know, exist within those particular nations. And one of these rules is the fact that homosexuality is considered illegal within the country. And on top of that, for Oman, torture is also considered accepted within the country. And the reason for this is, keep in mind guys, some of you guys may not agree with it, but that doesn't mean everybody in Oman is like, yeah, we're for this or against it. It's because the Sultan does make particular rules that some people might agree with, some people might not agree with it. So that's kind of the way it is within the country. However, one thing that is a major no-no within Oman is that you cannot criticize the Sultan in any shape or form. Don't even think of insulting him because you can get in serious trouble for it. And this is such a severe law that historically some people have gotten in trouble for making inappropriate tweets about the Sultan and they have faced a fine or even jail time. But however, to get around the certain rules that govern protesting, the people of Oman have done some pretty interesting ways to express their political disagreements. And what people have done within the country is they've actually used donkeys as mobile billboards to express their thoughts and emotions. As well, when it comes to the laws within Oman, it's also important to know that you need permission from the government if you want to marry a visitor. Now, of course, if you're outside of the country, you don't really need to get permission from the government. But the downside is, is if you marry somebody and you're from the country and you say, like, went to the United States, you married somebody. If you came back to the country, you could get in serious trouble and you could not be allowed back into the country as well. If you have to marry an outsider, you need a permission of the government. The Oman resident at the bond brought up there. If they want to marry an outsider, outside of you know, Oman, then he has to take permission from the government. Wow. But either way, guys, let's move away from some of the negative laws and things like that that are within the country, and let's just talk about some other interesting facts about Oman itself. And one thing when it comes to Oman, it is actually considered a very rich country with a GDP of $189.582 billion and a GDP per capita of $46,475, making it ranked 66th in the world. 
And to break it down even further, let's take a look at how this country generates money, not internally, but through exports. The exports of Oman sit at 61st in the world with $27.1 billion. And of course, you guessed it, oil is one of the biggest things within the country. This is because crude petroleum comes in at 47% of all the exports. There's petroleum gas at 9.8 and refined petroleum at 8.2%. Now the biggest buyers of all this oil is China and of course, South Korea. And although the United States is a smaller buyer, in 2009, they actually signed an agreement to allow free trade within the two countries. As for imports, they sit at approximately $28 billion, ranking 63rd in the world. Now, their biggest imports are cars coming at 11%, with approximately 58% of that coming from Japan and 11% coming from the USA and other places from around the world. On top of that, they also have refined petroleum as an import of 7.6%, and gold is a big one at 2.1%. Now, did you know at one point the people from Oman, or Omanis as they are sometimes called, were considered the greatest shipbuilders in the entire world? And of course, they may not have that title today, but historically, they were one of the biggest countries to produce ships. Around approximately 4,500 BC, they were known for creating the reed boats to trade between their country and India. And around that time, Dafar was considered a major booming trade port for the country, and by the 18th and the 19th century, the people of Oman had become known as the world's best ship builders. Now, here's a really interesting fact that also came from one of our fans. According to Shah768 on Instagram, he said that there's approximately no Coca-Cola products within the country. Now you may wonder why, well first of all you can actually get Coca-Cola within the country but you gotta go to like a very special place for it, like a really expensive swanky hotel. Because the biggest product within the country is actually Pepsi. And as for the most popular drink, well that is considered Mountain Dew. This is why I like Oman because I love Mountain Dew, so good. You don't have any Coca-Cola product in the country of Oman. Wow. And because Mountain Dew is the number one drink that is purchased within the country, it is sometimes referred to as Omani alcohol. Speaking of alcohol, can you drink in Oman? That is a big question that some people ask. Now, if you live in Oman and you want to drink within the country, you can actually do this. But one thing that's unique is you actually have to have a license. If you're a tourist, I think that's a little bit of a different story, but one thing for sure is you cannot drink in public. That's a big no-no. And for the people who live within the country to get this license, they have to apply at the Royal Oman Police. And of course you have to be over 21, but the reason for this license is because alcohol is heavily controlled within the country. And as for a person that lives on Oman, they're not allowed to spend over 10% of their monthly income on alcohol. So there you have it guys, that is a look at the country known as Oman. So if you're living in Oman, you cannot spend more than 10% of your income on liquor. Second, you have to be, you must have the license to buy a liquor. You must be above 21 and you cannot drink in public places or outside. I love it. The video says 10 interesting facts about Oman, but the facts which he has stated is more than 10. I was not expecting that I get so much information about the Oman in this video. I definitely like this video and I request you if you like this video, please go to the FT, FTD facts page. So to subscribe them, like them to more updates and information about their videos. So guys, this is a this was a video. There is so much interesting facts that we have learned on this video, and I'm sure you must you didn't have this information with you earlier. The people around the UAE, they or about the Oman, they they must have known about this information, but the people around the world don't know about the history and the culture and the facts of the country Oman. So I hope you have liked this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and please share your feedback in the comment section below and also if possible please share this their video with your friends and family uh, to learn about something new every day bye bye